This guy was in a lot of trade talks this year. Tyler wifed up an IG model and then cheated on her and pulled his groin cheating in the NBA playoffs last year. Reigning sixth man of the year winner, Tyler Hero. Inks, four year, $130 million contract. That's not chump change. It's really hilarious. Anytime pretty much anybody gets paid that's not a household name, everybody on social media in the comments are like, they paid that much for him? He got how much? They paid 30 mil for him? This contract averages out to about $32.5 million per year over the next four years. And Tyler is not even a starter in the NBA yet. Um, This guy's clinging on to that playoff. <laughs> Tyler Hero is most famous in the NBA for having some incredible games, like this one performance against the Boston Celtics in the 2020 bubble, which was absolutely unreal. The Heat didn't want to trade this guy for James Harden after this. Tyler Hero shown a lot of potential as an offensive player, powerhouse player. Someone I always compared him to like last year and even now, and I think just in general, Jordan Poole, who just won a championship. He was a key piece as a sixth man and being a scoring machine, that didn't play as much as he could have played because of defensive issues. Tyler Hero is the same way. Walking bucket, he can't guard. And he's a worse version of Jordan Poole, if you ask me. I thought he was better than Jordan Poole for a while last year, but there was just a point during the year where I was like, nah. Jordan Poole was going crazy. People didn't figure out how to guard him. This is who he is. And he continued that into the playoffs. Tyler Hero can go missing in games. And $32.5 is a lot of money. This is more money than RJ Barrett got. And I think RJ Barrett versus Tyler Hero as a player versus player comparison is very valid, even though some Knicks fans that are delusional might disagree. I don't think RJ Barrett is overpaid in the least for what the Knicks expect him to be. The thing with the Heat is that they have a lot of good players on this team, and Tyler Hero is not a starter, and there's a reason why. Because you have guys that are better at playing a role than he is. Because Max Struess can shoot threes really good, he can also guard really good. And Tyler Hero can't guard. That's why he's on the court and you're not. So you're going to pay a guy $32 million a year that is a defensive liability that you might have to sub out during playoff games. He's going to be a target. Teams are going to go at it every single time. You have him playing on the court with some guys that can help him out. Kyle Lowry, Max Struess, Victor Oladipo, Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler. It's all great defensive players. And then Caleb Martin off the bench can guard too. You're telling me that down the stretch of a game, a team is going at him every time? The Heat can just sub in Oladipo, and then boom, you can't go. You, you have, There's no one you can go at. Now, of course, it's a trade-off because you lose a shot creator and potential scoring machine. Like, a, a hot Tyler Hero, that's a fucking problem for defenses. Basically, what the Heat are thinking, Tyler Hero is going to be one of their big three. That is what this contract means. You pay this money to a guy in your big three. He's the third guy on this team. You know they're paying Jimmy Butler the big money, Bam Adebayo, max contract type player for the services that he provides to your team. You're banking on some serious growth, I think. Tyler Hero has talked about, I've heard a lot. He's doubling down. He's saying, no, I gotta be a starter this year. And I don't know if he's putting the onus on himself or on the team. He has made it known. It is a priority of his and a big one that he's out there to start games. He's not coming off the bench anymore. That's what he would like. Now he has to understand the Miami. I mean, these guys aren't fucking around. You're not telling Eric Spolster to put you in the game. You're make, You're showing him that he needs to put you in the game. And I think he knows that. So what this tells me is that there's some serious work going on. Tyler Hero's looking to take a step. He's looking to put the work in. Pat Riley is not a fool. If there's somebody I trust in a front office role to make good decisions in general, it's that guy. He knows. He understands. He's been around the game for a long time. He's a champion. He knows how to build a team. He's done it time and time again. But he knows there's some work getting put in here. And we're going to have to see that during the year. There are some comparable contracts to like young players coming out of the drafts in the last few years and their extensions, what they got. Obviously, Luca and Trey get these monster deals, and reasonably so. These are the two guys that Tyler Hero compared himself to before last year. And he had a great year last year, considering that his second season was kind of a bounce back and a sophomore slump, if you will. And then coming into his third year, sixth man of the year and over 20 points a game off the bench. He was a borderline all-star type player. And I think this money has to be determined from next year. We can't look at what happened last year or in the playoffs. The Heat are banking on something. They're banking on growth. They're banking on him being built to be a part of a big three. Michael Porter Jr. got paid more than this. And his issues are completely different. It's like he can't even stay on the court. If Michael Porter Jr. is healthy, is he deserving of this type of money? I'll let y'all decide that one. But Tyler Hero, personally, from what I've seen, 
I wouldn't have given him this money. I would have used him as a trade piece for Donovan Mitchell. But then again, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. In Miami, I trust them. Like when it comes to player development, front office and coaching decisions in general, who am I to tell them what to do or to see something wrong with their what they're doing? Because I'm not there. I can't see what's going on. But I, 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 this tells me that something's happening that Tyler Hero is putting in work behind the scenes, that he's putting himself in a position to take a step next year. So maybe watch out for an all-star appearance for Tyler Hero, especially if he's in that starting lineup. Watch out for some improved defensive ability. I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to. The guy just has to be able to stay on the court. He has to be able to guard, not have a target on his back. So maybe he's a little bit stronger. Maybe he's a little bit quicker laterally. I think we might see something here. So Tyler Hero, big news, big money. Bucketology. It's the, it's the new era, new NBA season, new brand, rebrand. Bucketology. Max Talks Hoops is no more... It was always going to be temporary. It was always going to be interim. It's the new regime. It's time to take over. School is in session. Bucketology.